Welcome to West High Incoming Freshmen. We are so excited to have you. Within this short presentation, you will learn the basics of course selection and registration. This will hopefully provide you with the information you need to complete the process. But as always, please reach out to trusted adults for help. Every student is assigned a school counselor based upon the first letter of their last name. This is the school counselor the student will work with throughout their time at West. If you have any questions about the registration process, reach out to us. You will also see that we help with much more than just course registration, planning, and scheduling. Because we work with students for all four years, it's important to work closely with us as you navigate through high school and your post-secondary planning. While high school is similar to junior high, there are also a lot of major changes. Most importantly, grades really matter. In order to graduate, you must complete a certain amount of credits in the right places. It means that if you do not pass a core course, you will have to repeat that course. It is always important to work hard because each class on your schedule matters. We will have more information on graduation requirements on the next slide. It's also important to talk about a student's grade point average. Starting from the first day of high school, you will be earning grades that will impact your grade point average. This is a numerical value that averages all the grades you have earned in all of your courses throughout high school. No matter what your goals are after high school, people will be looking at your transcript and grade point average. This is another reason to make sure you do the best you can all the time. It's also important to note that high school only has seven periods in the school day. For freshmen, four of those are already taken up by core classes, English, math, science, and social studies. Most freshmen also take a world language. In many cases, this only leaves two slots left for electives. We'll have more information on this coming up. These are the graduation requirements, requirements each student must complete. While 310 credits seems like a lot, it accumulates quickly. Each course on a student's schedule is worth five credits per trimester. This means that one year-long class, for example, English 9, is worth 15 credits. As long as a student maintains five or six classes per trimester, they will have plenty of credits to graduate. Your school counselor will help you with course scheduling and maintaining progress towards graduation. There are some terms you will see when registering for coursework. Students have the option to take the traditional, honors, or AP level of many of our courses and graduation requirements. All of these options will prepare you for college. Let's review what each one of those entails. Traditional coursework is a rigorous option for all subject areas. This is the course option that the vast majority of our students take. Honors level is a more rigorous option. These courses tend to move at a faster pace, may cover more material over the course of the year, and may have more demanding course requirements. These courses are designed for students who are highly motivated or interested in a subject area. AP stands for Advanced Placement and is the most rigorous option. AP courses are year-long courses taught by high school teachers that cover college-level curriculum. These courses are worth more grade points than traditional or honors courses. So for example, earning a final grade of a B in an AP course is worth the same amount of grade points as an A in a traditional or honors course. By taking an AP course, students have the opportunity to earn college credit. In May, students will take a nationwide standardized cumulative exam. Based upon that score, students may be eligible to earn college credit. In fact, the majority of our students do score well enough to earn that college credit. However, the score on that exam does not factor into your grade for the course. So you do not have to worry about one exam impacting a year's worth of work. If you have further questions on AP courses, please reach out to your counselor. The registration process is fairly easy. We ask that you review your options, talk with trusted adults, and then complete your course registration online. In a moment, we will review what your course registration form looks like, including a helpful worksheet to help you plan out how courses may fit. There will also be a separate screencast that will walk you through, step-by-step, step, 
how to input these course requests into the student's PowerSchool account. Just remember, your registration is not complete until you enter and submit your requests into PowerSchool. If you do not know your PowerSchool login information, please see your junior high counselor. Here you see what the freshman registration form looks like. You will have access to a full version of this so you can look at it more closely. To help you navigate this form, it's important to pay attention to the three different columns. In the first column, you will see shaded boxes. Each box has courses listed within it. You are required to choose one class from each of these boxes. These are courses you must have on your schedule as a freshman. In the middle column, you will see a list of year-long electives. This includes world languages, music, and many other great options. Again, these are electives, so you are not required to take any within this column. In the right column, you will find trimester electives. These are only one trimester in length, so you can take multiple, multiple of them in one year. There are so many options on this sheet, and you'll probably want to take more classes than you have room for, and that's okay. You'll have plenty of time to fit in all of the fun classes you want to take throughout high school. This worksheet is a very helpful tool in determining how the classes you want to take may fit into a schedule. Again, remember we only have seven periods in our school day. We recommend you transfer the courses you want to take from the registration form into this worksheet. This helps you make sure you didn't register for too many classes. A lot of students take six courses per trimester, which leaves students a period to have a study hall. You do not have to register for a study hall. If you only choose six classes per trimester, you will automatically be given a study hall to fill that seventh class spot. Other students take seven classes per trimester. If this is the case, you are exempt from taking a PE course. Remember though, you must remain enrolled in seven courses per trimester all year long to maintain your PE academic waiver. A study hall does not count as one of your seven classes. Once you've reviewed your course registration options and worksheet, we strongly recommend you talk with your current teachers and your junior high school counselor to make sure what you are registering to take is appropriate. Of course, we would love to help you with this as well. Feel free to call or email us. Again, the very important last step is to make sure you are entering and submitting your course requests into PowerSchool. The registration form is a way for you to see all of your options but you are not registered for any courses until you enter and submit them in PowerSchool. Please plan to watch the brief screencast titled Completing Course Registration in PowerSchool for a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to do this.